have devoted my life to the lifting of the veil which clouds the minds of men. I have heard much about your work, though I am but a poor country gentleman. It is said you are the greatest magician in all France. Magic is merely illusion. I study reality. You mean science. There are limitations even to science. Then what do you hold as true and certain? Alchemy. Gold is the only true light. Gold? You have discovered how to make gold? If I had made gold, the king of France would be called Claude and not Louis. If the king should hear you. I imagine he would merely ask to what extent you have succeeded. I have not wandered all these years through the caverns of darkness without seeing before me a distant light. Good. I have a great respect for scholars. You, I hold in particular esteem. Come to see me soon at the Bastille. It's a very quiet place. Rise. Here there is no king. We are too close to heaven. as if something is going on down there. Who is that being whipped? As my chief prosecutor, you should know. It is Quasimodo, sire, the bell ringer of Notre Dame. Master Frollo tried to turn him into a human being, but to no avail. What did he do to deserve a whipping? Forget to ring the bells? He tried to steal a young gypsy girl last night. Come now, Master Frollo, you take it too much to heart. After all, he earned his punishment. Charity! What a limp arm. In my time, they knew how to whip. Charity, good people. I should have quit a good while ago. What? What? I'm th thirsty. He ought to be thirsty. I open a lot of new mouths on him. <laughs> There's the fountain. Help yourself. Look at the heartless beast. Drank it all up under his nose. Why, it's like giving him a double whipping. <laughs> Another three hunchback and you're free again. Here you are, nice fresh water. Well, what else do you want? Is it my fault if somebody tied a hat? I won't step for the gallows bird. I won't step for the big fat bird. I won't step for the gallows bird. I won't step for the big fat bird. What? What? I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. someone gave him water.
Thank you! Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, O oh lovers of beauty. Step up, step up. Esmeralda will next reveal to you the genius of her magic goat, Jolly. Strange behavior for a poet. I'm not a poet at the moment. I'm a husband assisting his wife. You're married? Uh, not entirely. Uh, I mean, certain rites have been performed, but... Whoever dreamed of so beautiful a wife? You sunk so low as to embrace a gypsy. Not quite. I'm married to an innocent and charming creature, fond of dancing, noise, and the open air. Gringoire! <laughs> At least she remembers my name. Excuse me, master. Duty calls. Allow me to present the one and only Johnny. The goat who not only reads, but writes as well as Master Gutenberg. The great knowledge of this prodigious animal is well nigh miraculous. The alphabet withholds no secret from her. Aha, observe her furrowed brow. Ah, her composition is almost done. Behold the most beautiful name in the world. The name that means the sun, the bright sun, Phoebus. Witchcraft. Phoebus. Phoebus. A man. Captain, how dreadful of you to keep us waiting. While the city rings with your tale of overpowering monsters and dragons. I have no such high deeds to relate. Oh, we captured a single gargoyle, no more. <laughs> My daughter has been all a flutter for days, waiting for you. Sweet Fleur de Lis. Her head is so dizzy with dreams, she can barely weave. You can see for yourself how Neptune's grotto has suffered from her sweet ponderings. I can only say, I envy Neptune the gentle touch of your daughter's hand. Oh. Doesn't he speak beautifully? It's as I feel it. From the heart. Let your heart speak on. Isn't that your gypsy girl? My gypsy girl? The one you rescued. I was told she had a white goat. It may be. But it was very dark out. I hardly caught a glimpse of her. I've heard she dances divinely. Is it proper before my wedding to show a little jealousy? Chase her out of the square. As a favor to me. <laughs> you give me an easy task. I'll go tell my men. No. Do it yourself. It'll convince me that my jealousy is foolish and that you love me. <laughs> 